just want to record this, I'm trying to be quiet. Um, last night when I was here, <laughs> um, I had some hooting and some hollering, and I found something kind of strange. I snuck back up in here real quick before I had to go pick up my little one. same way that uh, that I came in last night. I checked out where I was pretending to be foraging and um, I was surprised that none of the little critters, you know, they didn't touch any of the peanuts and none of that stuff and it's very interesting but I suspected that as well. I told you. Wild animals just don't come right in and start eating man food you throw right out unless they're kind of half domesticated and been doing it in somebody's house. They'll let that stuff sit around for a few days and um, gotta get rained on, sit in weather for a little bit before they touch it. Sometimes they won't even touch it. Just goes to show how bad our food is. The animals won't even eat it. But this is what I want to show you. Last night, I was over in there, about, see there's that patch hemlock, I would say probably about 100 yards, and I was doing a video on those two trees that were leaning on the deadfall, and if you remember in that video I was telling you, well that's got to be a deer. I could hear something that had weight stepping around over here. Now, I'm not saying that this is for sure, but check this out. See this? Hold on, I'll back off a little bit. That is a very fresh hemlock bough. See how wide open it is in through here? I came right through here. I walked right to this same exact spot to get over there. That wasn't there last night when I came through. I've taken a look at it. I spent a few minutes trying to figure out why it's laying there on the ground. And, okay, power of suggestion. I'll try not to wait too heavy to that. But. I do have hemlocks up here, and yes, it most likely did come from out of there, right? I've looked for a fresh break, and I don't see one. And now let's take a look at the piece of branch itself. All right, look at that. Solid. Oops, I'm sorry. That solid is a rock. It's not soft. It's not rotten. This is how that branch sat in that tree. Now that was there's probably about another four or five foot of this branch from where it's broken coming back to the tree and then it snaps well if it snapped if that snapped how'd it get way over here From here to the base of that tree is 30 feet. Now that ain't a lot when you're coming from up there. But look at all the trees and branches in the way. Now stranger things have happened, that's right, okay. But 
I just thought it was uh, it was worth doing a video, taking a look at this, and have it be noted that I came right off from that little knoll, walked right up through here, right to these hemlocks, and went over the bank, down over where those trees are, and did my video and did my investigation on them two big leaning trees. 24 hours later, I come through, and in the area where I heard the stepping, I have a great big old hemlock bough snapped off laying down. <clears throat> Did a Sasquatch climb up that hemlock tree to be able to look down over top of that bank to get a look at me? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Alright, I don't want to make this too long, too boring. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video. You guys have a great weekend. Take care.